Oh yeah, you always have to upsell whatever you're doing, you know, and you know you can sell more of what you're doing. So I was a busboy, and they knew that I was going to Art Center. And one day I had my portfolio or some work with me. I showed them, and they're like, "Hey, you know, we need new menus." And I think something that that Art Center prepared me fairly well for, um, or at least I took advantage of it at Art Center, was actually collaborating with a lot of different people. That is a unique aspect of Art Center students because I hire a lot of Art Center students, and one of the unique things is that they come fairly ready with, you know, it's like ready to work. Early on in, in the history of the group, we really leverage all our relationships. Every single account that I got at that point, I can probably trace back somehow to a relationship that I gained at Art Center. Someone who used to be at Art Center recommended us to a colleague where they are working now who was looking for a, a design firm to do a website for Thomas Keller. You know, got an opportunity to, to work for one of the top chefs in the world. In 2007, we did Live Earth with Al Gore, which was a pretty exciting experience to do nine concerts globally. A day at the group, you come in in the morning, there's obviously priorities, you have different roles and projects, you have producers, you have designers, you have technologists. Last night, I stayed up till one or two o'clock working with a developer. I said what I wanted to do was to help other creatives actually also um, figure out how to, you know, subsist, how to thrive, and not just how to thrive, but how to own the future. What, what makes it really fun for me is actually the business of creativity and how creativity tangibly impacts life. Mm -hmm.